Today, when car makers add touchscreens to their new models, they often make things worse for the driver. Because they're cluttered with small, intangible buttons, they're harder to control and more distracting. But what if it didn't have to be this way? Let me show you how touch interfaces in cars could actually work. Instead of having a screen full of small buttons, let's make the whole thing one big control. The moment you touch the screen, the interface appears right under your fingers. It doesn't matter where exactly your fingers are. The interface just realigns with their position and that becomes the point of reference. In order to adjust the setting, all you need to do now is drag up or down. You can do that really fast too without having to watch out to be very accurate. The reason why that works is because the interface is designed to be as forgiving as possible. Accidental sideways movements are ignored, and even moving your fingers at different speeds barely affects the outcome. That way, even with the smallest amount of precision, it still works. But how do you control different things if you don't have multiple buttons or sliders on the screen? Well, because this is a multi-touch display, you can invoke different controls by using different numbers of fingers. So with two fingers, you can control the volume. With three fingers, you control the music source. Four fingers control temperature. And five fingers control airflow. And they all follow the same principle. You place your fingers anywhere on the screen and drag up or down to make the adjustment. And if you look closely, you'll see that each control has a different sensitivity. The volume, for example, changes in very small steps, because it's less important that you hit one specific number. When changing the music source, however, the interface helps you to select the right one, but requiring more movement to make a change. That way you're less likely to miss. So far, this makes four things you can control. But that's not enough yet. That's why this interface doesn't only react to how many fingers you use, but also to whether they're close together or far apart. Look at what happens when you spread your fingers and touch the screen. The interface goes into a different mode again and selects a different control. Instead of changing the volume like before, two fingers now let you scrub through your playlist. And of course, this works for two, three, four, or five fingers. All in all, this interface gives you easy control over eight different settings. And it does that without you having to take your eyes off the road because you're being distracted trying to hit that one small button on the screen. <laughs>